What's up, Droners, and welcome to a review. And we are going to be reviewing the Vizio drone. Um, I got this one from GearBest because that's a good place to get drones like this. And, you know, I actually wanted this drone because of what it looks like. And as you can see from this picture, I don't know if, if you recognize this or not, but that looks just like a Mavic. So, of course, I had to play with it. You know, I normally don't do too much with the toy drone kind of category thing. But for this one, I was like, yo, like this looks like a Mavic. So I got to put it to the test and I got to see what it can do. So let's see what's in here. Just full disclosure, I actually already did open this up and play with it because it wouldn't make sense for me to review something that I hadn't played with yet. Um, so, yeah, it comes with a controller, which actually was surprising to me. It has like a little handy dandy holder here. And I was like, ooh, what's that for? We'll have to find out. Comes with prop guards that I don't probably ever use. Um, extra blades, which I probably will use. Screwdriver, um, and you also have the charger and the battery. Now I'm gonna stop here because first of all, this is a cool little battery, um, but that's not what I wanna talk about. What I wanna talk about is the charger. This is the first small drone that has a charger that I've ever seen that is universal. This makes me so happy. This is, I know this seems like a little bit of nothing, but this is actually my favorite feature of this whole drone is that you can use any kind of like micro or mini USB to charge this. Any kind of them, any of them, there, bam. Um, which is a huge deal because most drones come with a proprietary charger, which means you lose the one cord that it comes with and you pretty much lose the drone. Um, this def definitely has an LED system in it so it lights up when you're supposed to, you know, when it charges. It takes like an hour to charge. So, here she is. She is the Vizio, V-I-S-U-O, Vizuo, Vizuo, I think. Yeah, and it just folds out, the arms just fold out. It's pretty chill. Um, it's very simple drone, to be honest. Like there's lights, there's LED lights on it. Then you have the on and off button down here. So, you know, uh, this camera has two different ways of recording. Um, one of them is through Wi-Fi, which I'll explain in a second. The other one is through this SD card slot right here. And this SD card slot has caused me a headache. I actually was like, okay, cool, SD card slot. So I put an SD card in there the way it does. There's instructions in the manual too that tell you how to do it. And it just got stuck. And I was like, why? Why is this stuck? And I started looking inside of it and like, there's not really a place for an SD card in here. And I was like, all right, maybe there's something wrong with the one I got or something. So I tried to get like a flathead screwdriver and get it out and that made everything worse. Um, and it split the, <laughs> it broke the SD card. Um, and then it fell inside of the drone. So then I had to take apart the whole thing and then pull the SD card out only to find out that I can actually record to Wi-Fi. So that's what I've done. Um, but either way, I don't know what's going on with that. Um, but again, I don't really care because I didn't buy this for the camera. To fly it, you literally just stick the battery in there, bam, and then you just click a little switch right here, turns it on, you see how the lights come on? Lights come on, she's ready to go. There's lights on the front too, it's pretty nice. And yeah, so after that, like then you get to go through and you'll notice that on the controller, there's a lot of buttons on this controller. Um, I went through and used all of them, actually. So there's a video recorder, so this is how you record, this is how you take pictures, this is how you return to home, which I actually haven't gotten to be able to work. Um, I pressed it a bunch, it just doesn't work that well, which I didn't really expect, it's not a GPS drone. Um, and then this is a headless mode, it has a little compass on it, so that means that, you know, it takes away the orientation of the drone, and makes it just so it has, it, I, I don't use headless mode, but if you do, it just takes away the orientation of the drone having the front being this. Um, then on the top, my favorite button, flip button and the speed adjuster button which goes from like 25% power to 50% power to 100% power and what the drone can do. Um, so to turn it on you just click that little button and then you just literally just turn the drone on and it's ready to go. So what I did was I took this drone to my front yard and uh, yeah it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Like as you can see when I first started flying it it comes in this lowest mode of like the slowest mode and it's pretty slow. It's pretty steady. Um, definitely need to do some trim adjustments as you can see you do that with the d-pad is how you adjust the trim in case it's moving to the right, then you, you know, press a little bit to the left. And it, the trim adjustments actually work. Um, and as you can see, like I said, it doesn't stay very steady, but it is a lot of fun. I think this is actually an excellent drone for training and learning how to keep a drone in control when you have to fly in Addy mode away from GPS mode. But slowest mode first, moves really slow around, and then you press the little speed button, it gets a little bit quicker. As you can see, it just moves around a little bit faster. And then after that, like my favorite mode, go all the way out 100%. This thing got, a little, got some wheels on it a little bit. Um, and I like that, you know, it's pretty fun. Like I didn't take it as far as it can go away, but I took it as far as I would want to. Um, took it up the street a little bit and it flies really well. Um, but then we have to experiment with the other button, the flip button. So I press this, all you have to do with the flip button is press the button and then press the direction on the D-pad of which way you want to flip and it flips. And it actually, uh, surprisingly when it flips, it keeps the same altitude that it took from when, um, the initial flip, which is 
better than most drones I've ever flown that do flips because there's no reason for a drone really to do a flip if you're doing camera stuff. But if you're showing off, this is your drone. And as you can see, since we're going to talk about the camera a little bit, I did record a little bit to the Wi-Fi to my phone. So I recorded myself on my porch. And as you can see, it's, it's interesting video quality. Um, not that great. I wouldn't recommend it for that um, at all. But at the same time, it's fun. If you want to have like a little toy to practice, like how to keep something center framed, as you can see, I was trying to keep myself in frame. Um, you can actually hook your phone up to this and connect it to the Wi-Fi, and you'll be able to get a actual image of while you're flying of what's going on, as long as you're close. It's Wi-Fi, so you guys know, Wi-Fi doesn't have the greatest range in the world. So, you know, just keep it close, and you'll be able to make some videos that are pretty cool. Yeah, this drone is really cool. And like I said, it looks a lot like the Mavic, but it's not. It actually makes the Mavic look like a beast. You know, this thing is much, much smaller than the Mavic. It's much lighter than the Mavic. It has brush motors unlike the Mavic, and the camera can't even come close to comparing as well as all the technology inside of it. But it literally costs less than a tenth of the Mavic. So, I mean, like, you, how do you compare that? Um, but, like, the design, like I said, is uncanny. Like, the, the head shape and, like, the battery casing, that's not really a battery on this one, and how it folds to get together. Like, they definitely took some strong points from DJI in designing this. So, let's go with the pros and cons here. Cons. The cons of this drone. First one is the SD card slot, like I told you, doesn't work for me, and I broke an SD card in there. I, really, I don't recommend using that at all. Um, the camera isn't very good at all. Wind. Um, so the wind, uh, this thing doesn't handle all that super well in the wind. It still works, you just gotta make sure you're flying it probably in the 100% speed mode. Um, but the wind definitely affects it. And I think that has, has something to do with how, how I told you guys earlier that the drone tries to keep itself steady and tries to keep itself in place. In doing that, it's, it's having some issues. All right, so we'll go with the pros. This is tied for my favorite toy drone I've ever flown. Uh, the Latrax Alias and this drone are very like similar. The Latrax is a little bit faster, um, but the Latrax doesn't have a camera on it either. So that's my, that's my jam though. The Trax is great to fly, but this is very similar to fly. It's very quick, can do all the flips. It's pretty fast. And this one I'd say is actually easier to fly than the Trax. This one does, it feels like it does a lot more work to keep itself steady and try to do its, its best to stay like where you leave it. Um, I know it doesn't have GPS, but it does, it acts like it does, it tries. Um, so like I'll give it that and it's it's definitely like I said it's definitely easier to fly than the Trax Alias. But I, I don't know, there's just a, a charming quality to it. I like that the, the propellers fold in. I don't know, it just makes me feel special. Um, and it also makes it so the box can be, you know, smaller, I think. But yeah, it looks kind of cool when you put it away, too. I, I just like that. Um, the battery life is pretty darn good for a toy drone. This kills the Latrax alias on the battery life. Like, I actually didn't record how long, but I'd say I was flying this thing for a solid seven to eight minutes, which were, you know, other toy drones, you'd probably get like four to five at, at the best. Um, I'd even go as far as, say, maybe ten. Um, it only came with one battery, but this is one drone that I'm like, I only really need one battery. It's a pretty solid thing. Um, so I'm a really big fan of that. I already told you about how much I like the battery charger. That's definitely a win. Um, I actually enjoyed the app that came with it too. There's an app that you can use to connect to Wi-Fi to fly with so you can see your screen. You can even like put it onto like a, a Google Cardboard VR thing. It splits the screen so you can do first person view flying with this for a very short distance because it's via, via Wi-Fi. All right, so my biggest pro of this drone is the price. This drone is only $53. You can get this on GearBest, link below. $53! For this drone that flies, it works, and it feels pretty dependable too. So yeah, I, for a first drone or like a toy like to learn how to fly on, this is a winner. Droners, thank you for tuning in to my final review in this backyard. Yeah, we're going to miss it, but that's cool because we're still going to keep doing them, just different settings. And if you want to see the older reviews and more of this backyard, you can click here. Or if you want to see the dopest opening video for a drone channel ever, I say it, but y'all still haven't seen it, you should check it out. It's great. As always, make sure you subscribe because that allows us to do what we're doing and shows that you support us. We really appreciate that. And make sure you stay fly.